Hello and welcome to another Dakman Productions review. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Lionel 66 foot mill gondola. And uh, our example is the TTX Railgon road name. Also with reporting marks of GNTX. Uh, this is something we'd see uh, on modern railroading today. Uh, the 66 foot mill gondola is pretty popular. Uh, also, the Lionel comes with a rotating wheel, uh, rotating wheel cap trucks, as you can see. And then, of course, everybody doesn't like the the big button release on the knuckle couplers, but they wanted to make these so you could uh, install KD couplers. Uh, the, Undercarry's details is not too bad for what it is. Uh, I find the, the the graphics really crisp. Uh, you'll you'll see the modern reflectors on it that the trains will have today. Re modern reflective tape. The railgun road name is really uh, accurate and crisp as well as that. Uh, the TTX. The TTX has always been my favorite uh, modern road name. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like the TTX. Um, for those who don't know, TTX actually owned Railgon for quite some time and finally changed the, the name from Railgon to and started putting the TTX logo on them, on the cars. But uh, So in comparison to show you how big this is, that is a Lionel PS5 50 foot gondola. And as you can see, the 66 mil gondola uh, is quite a bit longer. The Lionel 66 foot mil gondola, they're saying, will run on 042 radius track. I'm sure that it will, but It'll probably knock off everything that you have in the curve in the meantime because of the length of it. So um, I would say you're probably better off running this on 054 or above because of the length. Um, and once again, the, the the detailing on this is, I don't know if I show the inside, but the detailing on this is pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about it is the, it's pretty flimsy. As far as the sides, so you gotta watch how you pick it up, because you can see that the sides are really thin uh, on this compared to the uh, their 50 foot gondola or PS5. But uh, I really like the uh, the accurate uh, detailing on this thing. It's really nice. I hope I'm not going too fast in this video, but I'm trying to make it somewhat quick because I know sometimes videos can get special review ones can get boring if you but you can see all the details of the trucks the brakes like I said uh, the under detailing is okay could have been better uh, as far as the air piping I think for the price of it they should have done a little bit better on the undercarriage but of course you get your like I said at least you get your rotating wheel bearing caps your uh, metal die cast metal trucks of course there's people who hate this thumbtack release but that's what they decided to do so that's what they're going with uh, not sure if there's a way to just you know take it off or whatever have you but in the package, you get uh, you do get the KD coupler um, in the bag, in case you want to get into that. I don't run them. I've seen clubs run the the uh, KD couplers. I mean, they look good, but they're just not for me. I'd rather stick with what comes with it. Um, for the price of this thing. The undercarriage details are okay, but what sells me on it is the uh, 
the great graphics and I really like TTX so I went ahead and got two road numbers of these now these are available uh, two different road numbers like you see it and then there's a third road number that has graffiti on it which I did not buy and I don't buy anything that's got graffiti on it because once again it might be okay for uh, other people but it's not my thing although I do like seeing other clubs running graffiti cars it's just not for me personally for my way out those are just my feelings but not to stir up any issues it's just personal opinion so if you're looking for a modern uh, gondola this is it the mill gondola they're producing them in different road names and I just happen like this TTX so I got that road name I don't have any other road names but you can visit Rhino or your nearest hobby shop to see what road names are available I'm sure it'll be plenty more to come out in the future so I just wanted to give you a quick look on the uh, 66 foot mill gondola hope you enjoyed my review thanks a lot bye